when thinking about expanding out who you're looking at to, to voice for you, you should be considering branding, you should be considering the caller experience and really choosing from a more diverse pool of voice talents. It's so important. I can just remember literally listening to the radio when I was little and thinking, how is it that all I ever hear is male voices? Like, where am I? We've come such a long way since then. And I love that it's moving even farther. So yeah, I think that experience is, is definitely the case in the voice world. I call it the gospel according to the old way of doing things in voiceover, <laughs> which is, which is, it's really, you know, U.S. English neutral U.S. English, right? No accent. Everyone sounds white. Everyone sounds like they're from Ohio. Or Connecticut. I'm from Connecticut. I think a lot of people sound like they're from Connecticut. Or Connecticut. <laughs> yes. Yeah, exactly. This one voice is presumed to be universal, right? I mean, universal that's an inherent oxymoron when you think about it, even though it's just one word, because universal means everybody, right? And we're being represented by one sub-segment of humanity. So all of that's now being questioned, right? Which is great. Finally, it's taken this long. Finally. Let's question it exactly. all. Let's question everything out the window with the gospel according to the old way of doing things. Believe it. <laughs> 